Check it out, folks. Listen, I'm so tired of everybody asking me how do you make elote. I guess I'm pronouncing it the American way, right? What's the real uh, saying? What is it? Elote? Hey, I'm going to show you how to make it. Let's get it. As you can see, it's not a whole lot of ingredients, right? So check it out. If you look down at the description box below, I'll put the full ingredient list down there. All right, you want to talk about like to make something great and it'd be like friendly for even for a beginner to make? But check it out, folks. Five minutes of corn in here like this, right? All you want to do is boil it. After five minutes, it's good. Look, I'm gonna take it, just strain it. Then you just want to go ahead and put them right here. You know what I mean? I give myself a little paper line, you know, plate, you know, so you can catch some of the moisture. That's it, real easy. And if you got multiple of these, you know what I mean? Let's say you're gonna do 12, 16 or whatever. You can go ahead and just, you know, boil them. Comes out just right. Now I'm gonna let those cool so that I have, a, you know, I'm able to pick them up. But outside of that, after I show you this, listen, you won't have to go out there and chase that guy running down the, uh, down the street with that cart, guy or a gal, right? And don't they have some kind of little horn to go, wugga, wugga, wugga? Hey, I got you. All right, so what I did was I went ahead and just put one in here, right? I didn't want you guys to look at me and say, damn, he's struggling. Now look, these are nothing but skewers. I bought the long ones and I cut them to length. Right, so I'm gonna go ahead. I let it cool just enough so I can put my hands on it, right? So if I take it, you look right there, we get right here in the center. Obviously I'm using the pointy end right here. <laughs> here we just wanna go ahead and just push it in. All right, so as you can see, listen, this is how they go. I'm not gonna draw this out, make this like you no know, long drawn out, you know, thing. Listen, just take this, right? Grab it by the handle. You know what I mean? And then we just go ahead and just bring this over here just like this. Yeah, basically what we're doing is we just like painting it on here. I done seen some of the people out here in these street fest, they got some kind of, you know, method to how they do it. I done seen them take this and then turn it or turn it back this way and do it like that. Ah, uh, you know what? Why wouldn't I do it not? Right? Look at that right there. Now we bring it over here and this is that Cotija. I hope I pronounced it right. This is it, folks. All that chasing and everything that we were doing out there. Now you can see, like, did we really have to do that? Or could we have just chased this corn down in our house and put it in the pot and did it from there, right? Now, I did this one kind of like sparingly. You guys can do it however you want to. I'm gonna make this next one super thick. Okay, so just finishing this up here. This is what it looks like. Take that over there. Now, this right here, look, just that squeeze butter. You remember that commercial in the end? He's like, it's not butter, it's what? Parquet. I don't know how it went, but I remember that being a big, you know, major commercial. Now, this part be a little tricky, because listen, this right here is just like gonna run out, so you gotta be kind of quick. We just wanna go back, 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 you know, back and forth like that, right? So we just take it like this, and that's it. Then we go ahead, and we get our chili powder. And we start sprinkling just a little bit of this on there, and that's it right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and just coat this backside, just, you know, lightly, you know what I mean? Like that, try to give me some pictures with it. And then I want you guys to tell me, doesn't that look good? Mm, got my mouth watering already. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this down on a plate and then we're gonna make a couple of more. All right, so that'll do it. I got it. We'll just leave it like that. Now look, I know you guys know about tahini, right? If you never had this, do yourself some justice and go ahead and try it. Listen, it got like a, a liminess. I don't know. Whatever it is, I don't, I'm not good with that description, but try it though, folks. I'm just putting a little bit of this in here right now. Just a little bit, because I want to control it. It's a little bit heavy on the sodium too, right? So I'm gonna just take that. I put it in there like that, just so that I can control it, right? Now, I'm gonna do the same thing that you saw me do before. You know what I mean? Just put a little bit on here like that. And now look, I'm gonna take a pinch and just come around it right here just to make it a little bit on the refreshing side, you know? And then I wanna get some of that, I want it to stick to that, stick to the, you know, this butter that we just put on here. Ooh, that's about all you need, right? Then we are finna come right back over the top with some of that chili powder, you know what I mean? And, oh.
Okay, so you guys see them right here. I mean, it's, it's so much that you can ask me that you can do. You can use my seasoning on there, you know what I mean? Uh, you can do that, you can do a little bit more tahini. So check it out, I'm gonna take one of these now. I'm gonna give you guys just one more option, right? Notice, let me just start off by showing you this. You know what this is, right? So now I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna cut down and I wanna get all of that, right? I wanna get all of the milk and all of the kernels and everything that's down there, right? You don't wanna to cut too deep, right? Cause you still wanna make sure you get some corn, all right? But we just keep turning it till we get it all off. Uh, that's good right there, all right? I'm gonna do the other, the other one the same way. This is what it looks like. Hey, you know what? This is a good piece for me to show. You see how it is? This is when you cut it, right? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get in here with my hand and break it so that it breaks whole, just like that. You see this right here? Look, here's another one. Here goes some bigger pieces, look. That's what you want right there. I'm gonna get you the, the correct enunciation of what this is called. Hey, so my little translator slash di human dictionary is running around here for my Spanish. What is it called? Esquite. Te or te? Te. Esquite. Got it. You guys got it, right? So, this is what we're going to do. We'll go ahead and just scoop some of this up right here. Just put some in here, like you see. This right here going to be fire, folks. And it, any of the moisture, that's from the milk from the corn. And listen, after I get to describing all of that, tell me your mind not working and talking about thinking like, dang, I wish I had some of that right now. And I like this corn. See how it's got that white and that yellow? Mm. Tell me if anybody know about that Navajo corn. Tell me what, what colors are those. All right. All right, look, this is the way it is. I know some of you guys are probably going to look and say, oh, man, what is that? But notice how I'm putting a little bit of this mayo over here just like this. All right? This is good, just like that. All right, now I'm gonna come with this cheese. And that there. If you ask me, look, for presentation-wise, I would like to just put just a couple of little, you know, pieces of corn, a little bit on the top, just so that we know that it's corn. But when you get it outside on the street, it don't come like that. You know, that's one of the things I miss about being, you know, back in California. You can find this everywhere, right? I'm going to hit it with a little bit of this cilantro, and that's it. Okay, folks, take a look. You saw me make the first one. And then I made the second one this way. This is the way I would do it if it was for me, you know, serving it. I would probably mix the mayo, the cotija cheese, you know that, the butter and everything, and then get it, and then top it off with a little tahini, and then, you know, the chili powder, and, and you know, a little cilantro. So if you guys take a look right there, that'll be like the difference, but this is how you get it on the street. I know sometimes you get it, it don't even really have no corn on the top. You just mix it all up yourself and get out. Anyway, I'm not finna over talk it. My mouth is watering. You know what I'm finna do, folks. It's time to go ahead and get us some. Right. Let's, mm. I want a little bit of this cilantro. Cheers, y'all. Mm. You guys ain't never had it. You gotta make this. Listen, if you never had it, you gotta do yourself some justice and go ahead and taste it. And you know what I like about it? I know everybody say elote. We all know that's like Spanish, you know, for corn. But I'm gonna be honest with you. You make these flavors and do it how you want to. I just did them like this because this is the way we get them when we catch the people out there, you know, hustling the street. But you know what? You can, like I said, you can add your seasoning, my seasoning, you know, Creole kick. I don't care what it is. Just make it your own. Taste it. Make sure it's not too salty. And with that being said, listen, try it. Talk to me. And you know what? I'm going to do something a little different. If you're new, you know what you got to do. Subscribe and like. And guess what, folks? I'm about to eat this, and I'm probably going to make me a few more. I'm out. Peace.